Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos de vuelta a esta. Jugamos a Tales of Rise. Vamos continuando el camino a Tansión. Desde el en el mismo Volga, algo así. Entonces, ya casi llegamos a la ciudad. Estábamos justo antes, había una sección de espacio. Entonces, asumí que había un jefe. No lo sé. Vamos a ver. Vamos a tocar tierra en esa parte. Y vamos a avanzar. We should be able to cook here. We're almost there, guys. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the front gate. Ah, ese es el plan. Entra por la puerta principal. Eh, vamos a ver. Si no, lo vamos a poner. Ah, pensé que ahí iba a haber un jefe, pero no. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Por Taguis? ¿Por Talaguis? Creo que ahorita vamos a ir al nombre. Vamos a estar esperando. ¿Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive. And there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganeth Harrow. Ganeth Harrow. So I'll ask again. Are you Alfin and his companion? We are. Hola, Then pass. Morir. Lord Voron is expecting you at Castle Del Faris. Castle Del Faris. Dicen que es muy... Ahora. Muy confiado. Muy cerrado. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. So we're supposed to meet him in there? What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Está muy bonita. Se ve bien. Es del elemento de agua, ¿no? Era fuego. Segundo era electricidad. Tercero tierra. Cuarto viento. Quinto agua, no momento. No hay electricidad, es luz. No estoy seguro, ya me confundí. No hay nadie. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. No hay nadie más que él, seguramente. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now if we only knew where they were keeping Shion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? No creo que haya With all this open space, ordinary. seems unlikely. Campanazos. Dos. Ah, ahí están los tipos. Eh, tres máscaras. They were Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, no. they seem too docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? 
No. And I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Last mascara. Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. I have a bad... So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, it might be in the mood to give us some answers. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danons and Renans go? There's nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. It's... No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing, or breaking through for that matter. And yet this seems to be the only way inside. Mm -hmm. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! Oh, what the fuck? Alfin! <sighs> Astral energy? But then... That means... Snap out of it! Can't you see what's happening? You're being deceived! <sighs> Please stop! You'll die! Damn it! Volron is killing you! You need to run! Please, get off the boat! What just happened? It looks like we're going Being summoned. Summoned? By that murdering monster? Yeah. It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us. No, to Alfin. Just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. Killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? 
Why do all this? Uh, just to get me. The towel. You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, correcto. Es correcto. Let's move. Those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. Mm -hmm. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Okay, yeah, I'll see. Is this what I think it is? Those people, they were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. If it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing uh -huh. to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, <laughs> would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts, whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods. The outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place.
No pensé que fuéramos a llegar tan rápido con ella. Nah, ¿vamos a pelear contra ella? No, no lo sé. Vamos. Por lo menos la tiene. Shion, wait. Something's not right. Sí, la, seguramente la está controlando. Es lo más seguro. Parece un muñeca. O está diciendo algo. Shion. We came to save you. No está diciendo que no, no, no vengas, algo así está Give up on us. We obey 
your thoughts together! I swear it! Oh yeah, just yes, but yes. Es raro porque suena diferente la voz. Bueno, se ve que no está aquí, no sé. There is no more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. Ah, but not for that. No, sorry, girl. I'm not sure about that. Bueno, se le llevó por el shock. Aunque sí fue muy bien. Debe haber una pelea. Hey, Alfen. Hmm. What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Oh. Alfen. <laughs> But after what happened because of me, I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head too? <laughs> hey now. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or are they? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. I just should get a room. Should we rest? Still very warm place. Very simple. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things that came out of Shion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. Uh -huh. But those thorns are no astral art, and she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? Mm -hmm. I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Shion. Oh, bless her. Dohalim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No... Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. Posh. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. It will be just <sighs> as well. 
So, the Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenegas 300 years ago? Yes. That is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Shion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously, these so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yes, yes. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Shion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacked the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? No, I... Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? I... Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the crown contest, no, correct? Si I... Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? No, exactly. Only when I've been with you guys. In the end... We just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. <sighs> what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Es muy chistoso. Ah, son las colitas, ¿no? Ah. Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Shion? How are you feeling? He didn't do anything to you, did he? The, the last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back mm, then. I miss more luck, seeing yeah. Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew, darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I, I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Well, trauma. Shion. You're okay now. You're safe, Shion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Oh. Thank you. Me gustan los ojos de todos. Como están pintados como con acuarela. Uh, sí, pero no me gusta ese. Me gusta el rojo, de hecho. Me gusta ese. Yes. Bueno, vamos a ver la cosa. Ok, estamos avanzando entonces. Uh, supongo que aquí no hay nada. No, no. no. of Helgen. Asumo que va a ser aquí el... Se me muy bonito. Pero al control. De Alfares casi. Ah, mire, no te aseguras. Ya son azules. No porque sean de agua, sino porque sean un nivel más alto que los ojos. Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. 
Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! This blind loyalty is... Just another form of slavery! Warren! Peace of Bolra! That's useless. They're brainwashed. Just like the Denon puppets we dealt with outside. Take this! That didn't feel great. Those fight. soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Mm, Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. to let them exhaust us before we reach Bull Run. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. 
They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost. Tyrannical? But more than mm. anything, merciless. As if any pretense Sahrao. to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the Tadaluk. perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two. Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations mm, needed. Yeah. Oh man, for real? Nice! Nice. Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. <laughs> now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you mm -hmm. third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. Yeah, I see what I said. I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... The sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... Can't describe it. it. In other words... Your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. Laureate. <sighs> hmm? Uh, Quiero saber que se puede transportar a la. Here's the evil! 
Dragon Swarm! Far enough! I'll be saving you! Now! Hey! Blow them away! Hey! 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 You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. With such a huge area to search, where should we even begin? So where is he? There's no sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a Zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey. Wearing us down before the final ambush. It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final Master Core will be ours. With that, we can create the Renaissance. Oh, and the final 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 to this whole nightmare. <laughs> uh oh. The path being pulled up like some kind of drawbridge? I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most oh, likely, okay. it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. Seriously? Is this a joke? Go right to the Trying to exhaust us? Airborne scoundrel! 
Sounds like a job for yours truly. That's my cue. Shut him down. Now are you being interrupted? In an instant! Impact block! My turn! Resonate with the earth! Dance in the wind! In a bind, here I come! Healing circle! Here, now! Ready. Shield! This one's got your name on it! Ashes to ashes! No, I can't! Thunderfield! Oh, thank you! Here, here. 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 Burn it down! Burn it down! Take this! Hands in the wind! Far enough! Wait, Take it down! Seismic rocket! Do it! Do it! In an instant! Impact block! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Here goes! 
Creo que voy a ir a... Ciudad porque ya no tengo... Va eh, a recuperarme, ya no tengo... Kill points y bueno, entonces pues continuamos en la próxima entrega. Cuídense mucho, nos vemos después. Hasta luego.